If you think a revolution can't begin in a library, it's worth remembering that Karl Marx wrote for years in the building that used to house these books. And now the British Library and other institutions around the world like it are in the business of something equally radical. So you can see that the pages are exactly as they look in the book. The, the fact of touchscreen technology has allowed them to make publicly available for the first time tens of thousands of rare historical books. When their iPad app was rolled out as a trial, it topped the charts in Britain and the United States in its first week. People, it seems, are able to feel a sense of wonderment looking at these books on a screen in a way almost greater than if they were able to touch the real thing. And there's 60,000 titles. Now, to give you an idea, 60,000 titles, I don't know how many metres of shelving that is, but it's hundreds and hundreds of metres of shelving. But it's, we think, probably, I mean, who knows, 15 to 20 million pages. It's like carrying a very large 19th century library. In your pocket? In your pocket. It could be uh, in Manchester or it could be in Abu Dhabi. Um, it's, um, in a sense, it's, and that's it's all the same. It goes further. The British Library has works that are priceless, kept under glass. You can't shine a light on the Sherborne Missile, which dates from the 15th century, in case it damages the pages. Touching it is out of the question. But look at what anyone is now able to do. You can leaf through it on screen, zoom in to every mark on every page. The use of coloured ink in this book coined the phrase Red Letter Day. Given what's being accomplished here, it feels somehow appropriate. The fact of this technology and what places like this have been able to do with it completely redefines your notion of what a library is supposed to be about. Far from being a dusty old institution full of books which are a chore to read, suddenly it's so much fun and it's so available to anybody anywhere in the world. The potential is endless. In the autumn they'll come out with another website charting the history of British newspapers during the 19th century, deferential to royalty, obsessed with imperialist adventures like the Crimean War, much like now in fact. Every single page from any local or national newspaper is meticulously treated before being put under the scanner. They do this around the clock. By the time it's all done they'll have digitized 40 million pages. A treasure chest for any historian, professional or amateur. We, we've called it transformational in the past, in recent past and we believe it's still to be so. It will be transformational for uh, teaching for serious research all over the UK and beyond. Great institutions around the world are engaged in exactly the same process as this. If you look at the mile upon mile of historical fact and fiction, the only block on doing all of it is time and money. But the future holds a promise that anyone of any age will be able to access this material from anywhere. Really, it's what the internet was made for. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.